Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We are going to take a look at the temperatures right now. Very nice weather here in Park City, but we've got storms on the way. You can tell because the wind has definitely picked up today. For tomorrow, 32 degrees. Thursday and Friday, 33 and 35, and those storms could be rolling in. Tomorrow, 40, 41, and 43 for down in the valley. But pretty nice temperatures down in the valley, though we are getting that inversion, so it's a little bit colder down there as opposed to up here in Park City. Now we are very pleased to have John Paul and Eloise DeJoria in studio with us. Thanks for being here, you guys. Yeah, good morning to you. Saw you last night at your party. Thank you for having us. You guys were so welcoming and so wonderful, so thank you. And your party You're ended a little early. Did it? it did, yeah, it looked really good. I didn't do good. it. That's yeah, why it looked really good. <laughs> I have cute girls out helping me. Yeah, so um, your party ended a little earlier than mine, so you guys are bright-eyed and awake. Oh, yes. We, a little bit. Well, we went to a second party after ours, but our party was really, everybody enjoyed it. It's a small party, and they were all saying how much they liked the intimate party. So there's so many, I guess, enormous parties here. So I was, I was relieved because I was thinking I wasn't giving the huge party. But then we went to see Billy Bob Thornton down how on was level it? two, and his music is fantastic. Country album he has yeah. on. Yeah, really good music. Yeah, a Very friend of ours, um, Linda Livingston, signed him on uh, at BMI. So, Oh, good. And yeah, we got. And our entrance to the party was a bottle of Patron and a bottle of ultimate <laughs> vodka. That's how we got in. Perfect. <laughs> you just walked right oh, in yeah, the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can come in. That's how you got in. Well, tell me, you guys have quite an affiliation to Park City, which I don't know if everybody knows. So tell yeah, me about so, that. Oh, several years back, uh, about uh, almost two decades ago, Jack Mahoney and I, and a fellow newspaper named Fred Moore, we built Town Lift, then the Caledonian, mm -hmm. and kept a place in it for ourselves and kept the, the retail area there and just started looking at the city, coming back more often, and now we have a ranch. That's right, and that was our, uh, when we were first dating, and I think it was before we were engaged, mm -hmm. we bought a piece of property together. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. That was like 18 years ago. And we call ago. it the Valley of Love Corporation. <laughs> Valley of Love. <laughs> yes. And you guys have been married for what, 16, 16 years? 16 years, approximately, 16 sure. 16 years together, 18. But love the community, then a lot of events started happening where we would bring up celebrity events yeah. on behalf of the hairstylist and future mm -hmm. professionals at Paul Mitchell. we come up here, for example, uh, the big event you have, uh, the classic, the ski classic yeah. in uh, December. We've been sponsoring that forever and ever and ever to help the water keepers out and other re really good uh, organizations to help the planet become a little bit better off. Oh, that's right. We were here at the Olympics. Uh, the Mexican yes, we bobsled sled we team. We were on the slopes we were, of the Olympics. Yes, we, ha we were sponsoring the Mex Mexican bobsled team. Which so you guys have seen the change of Park City. Oh, we I mean, you've have. been here for almost 18 years. And yeah. were you coming here before then? I was coming okay. here for about five years prior to that time, and just great skiing. Learn how to ski properly on your hills. Uh -huh. So if you fell down, there's all that nice powder you can kind of squish into. <laughs> it kind of uh, cushions your fall. We used to have meetings up here. Uh, we do occasionally. We used to have a lot because a lot of the hairstylists that represent Paul Mitchell community, instead of wanting to meet in Salt Lake City, they said, well, no, let's meet in Park City. So we'd have events up here tied in with some of the events that we do with you up here, some of the nice ski events. Well, it's amazing how much Park City has changed. You guys know... I mean, Kimball Junction used to be nothing. Oh, it was, exactly. And now it's just completely oh, taken off. I just off. think it's beautiful. In the fall, it's like breathtaking. I had tears in my eyes going up the mountains with the yellow leaves. And, Isn't it beautiful? And then in the summertime, it's sure. nice. We just want to spend a little more time here. The people well, are so receptive. Uh, a couple day before we got here, we came in from Canada. Some of our future professionals from Paul Mitchell School were walking up Main Street, giving out little samples of John Paul Pet. It's a pet line we have, a really uh -huh. cool pet line. Mm -hmm. And they said, people and only take them, they'd sit and talk to them, tell them how nice they were to walk up and hand them a sample of something, how nice <laughs> they were. They weren't even celebrities. So the whole community here is just a wonderful a community. community. And <laughs> I, I think it's got great family values. And at the right time, you have great fun up here. And hey, well, you guys are a part of our community, so yeah, you're we adding like it. to that. No, we like it. Well, it's thanks wonderful. for your support with everything you guys do. Let's Thank talk you. about your other companies, Paul Mitchell, of course. Let's talk about that first, and then we'll talk about Patron, sure. which John Watkins was supposed to be in here on this interview because... <laughs> He loves Patron. We left the bottle outside there. Maybe he went there to sample he it He probably early in the is out there doing his thing. He Drink left. responsible. <laughs> I'm sure John. just the mention of Patron, everybody who's watching sure. will probably yeah. <laughs> know what we're talking about. They probably <laughs> will. pretty popular. For Paul Mitchell, we have for many, many years uh, participated with hair stylist in the community. Uh, for a couple of years, we even had a salon at Maine and 7th, right across the street from the Caledonia there, where anyone can walk in, whether you're an actor, an actress, producer, director, just 
just someone off the street that wanted their hair done and get all these free services. How nice. So uh, we've, we've been active in this community. Uh, for Paul Mitchell, it's great because it does promote what we stand for, and that is good family values. We believe people should be on skis, they should be mm -hmm. on snowboards, they should be outdoors enjoying nature, and not just stuck home watching TV or in a gang or do, doing things that aren't really productive. It's really enjoying nature the way it was offered to it. And that's kind of our culture at Paul Mitchell is giving back, doing. And if you come back doing and combine that with giving back, that's just perfect. So that's, that's what we do up here. And it's a lot of fun. Patron, well, that's a different <laughs> story here. We have more people <laughs> wanting Patron to sponsor their parties during Sundance. I than, believe uh, it. We ever felt. We seem to be quite popular here. Everyone seemed very happy last night at the Patron party. Oh, wow. oh yes. They weren't. They weren't whining about having Patron. Oh there. my gosh! It's like as a hostess, it takes so much pressure off. You want if you just serve Patron, thing, Eloise, I'm estimating in that one larger living room that we have, even mm -hmm. though we call it a quaint party, there must have been 200 people in there. Mm -hmm. Because just to get across the tight. room took a while. Right. It was tight. I was pushing yes. my way through. I was trying to, you know, <laughs> sneak through. I somehow, I yeah. somehow did it. If you knock somebody <laughs> over with their Patron, instead of letting it go, they go <laughs> like that. You know, they <laughs> yeah. they reach oh, right. So that our floors were okay. Our floors, there wasn't any. I not, was not looking at your floors. Yeah. They looked. Yeah. They looked okay. Uh, not, a, not a drop uh, reached the floor. Only a woman would floor. check out the floor. Yeah, like, I, I really did. That's the first thing you know? to check out. Yeah. Not a drop reached the floor. So it was good. No. And uh, we love being up here and people That's love our right. product. And what's really nice about the Sundance Film Festival and Patron is almost everyone is walking or has a designated mm -hmm. driver. So they're allowed for once in their life if they want to go out socially uh, and not worry about driving. If they exactly. want to have like more than one drink, they could do that and be safe about it. Absolutely, I agree. That's so cool. You guys have this organized really well up here. We do, don't we? Yeah. We kind of know what we're doing in Park City a little bit. <laughs> and you guys are all, all over the place up here. You must have 20 cameras. It seems like everywhere you go, there's Park City Television. Oh, we have 20 cameras everywhere. And there's yeah. so many hosts. You're watching that. us. No, it's amazing. No, but you're everywhere. You're like the morning TV, evening TV, late night TV. Man. That's why my eyes are sagging. Because no. I was out late. Sure. Like, yeah. Perfect. That's what yeah. I was thinking. I can't know how you look so perfect. It's going to catch right. up with me. You just give me a few more days, and yeah. I won't. I won't and you like changed it. your hair. You must have used Paul Mitchell spray or something because you went uh, from a funky look Mitchell to all of a sudden a nice look. I know, isn't it? I tried to go a little more sleek, a little more. No, it's great. I use your tea tree um, shampoo yes. and conditioner. We were talking about it last night. My, it's my favorite. It's my favorite because it wakes me up. And it kind of like tingles right along your scalp yeah. line, and yeah. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So how did you start Paul Mitchell? Oh, boy. Back in my car, 1980, inflation was 12.5%. Interest mm -hmm. rates were 20%. Oh. And unemployment, the height of the 81-82 recession, mm -hmm. was 10.8%. Our money backed out. They wouldn't give us a dime. So I actually started in the back of my car with $700 and a good partner. And we both worked really, really hard. Him out of Hawaii, me out of LA. And uh, just one of those American dreams that happened. Uh, it is true. The American dream is definitely there. And even though our economy is a little off right now, mm -hmm. it was off a lot more uh, 28 <laughs> years ago, 29 uh, years ago, when we started job. Paul Mitchell system so we say that success unshared is failure once you make it you want to share it a little bit but to make it the big difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is successful people in any environment do all the things unsuccessful people don't want to do. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if when uh, Stan, the great guy who built this place here, okay, <laughs> was building this. He probably ran low on money at times. He was picking up a hammer and nail and pounding there. I bet you did that himself or maybe Absolutely. even traded off things. You know, I'll give you some of my other services here. Understanding is this great sports lodger too up here that you go to work out to the best fitness centers. Mm -hmm. Maybe he gave away a, someone's, you know, tuition there, uh, you know, or, or, or payments for one year to get something done here. That's what you have to do. you got to do all the things the unsuccessful people don't want to do. Well, it's so great to hear people's stories and know you started here and look at what you've become.